Here we're dealing with what we call a projectile motion equation. This equation right here represents the height of an object that had initial velocity of 106 feet per second from a height of 186 feet off of the ground. This term right here, by the way, is the effect of gravity. One thing you'll notice is that the gravity term is the only term with a negative coefficient. These other two coefficients are positive because they increase the height of the object. The only thing bringing the height of the object down is the effect of gravity. Important to note is that this is a quadratic relationship because of this t squared term here. Throughout this, we need to make sure that we work with the quadratic properly. Before we get started, let's make sure we understand our variables here. H is the height of the object with respect to t. It's the height in feet t seconds after the object is launched or thrown. To find the height of the object at six seconds, we're gonna plug in t equals six into this function. So we need to evaluate h of six. So we plug in six for our independent variable. We will evaluate this. After crunching the numbers, I got, when I plug in six into this function, an input of t equals six, what I get out is the height is 246 feet. So at six seconds, the height is 246 feet. To answer the second question of when it hits the ground, what we want to know is when the height of this object is zero. So we need to solve for when h of t equals zero. So we'll just set our function equal to zero here. I'll solve this with the quadratic formula, giving me uh, with an a value of negative 16, a b value of 106, and a c value of 186. Here I've plugged my three coefficients into the quadratic formula. I have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2 times a. As always, what I'll do is deal with the discriminant first and take the square root of that. If I multiply this all out and take the square root, I get 152.12, all divided by negative 32. Um, and now what I'll do are compute both of these values. This gives me two answers again for this plus minus right here. Evaluating this gives me two answers. I have negative 1.44 and 8.07. Again, what I'm solving for are the t values for when my height is zero. In this context, time being negative does not make any sense. So I can get rid of the negative solution, which tells me that this object hits the ground 8.07 seconds after being launched. Our final question is when our object reaches a height of 132.04 feet. To solve this, it's very similar to the last step, except from finding out when the height is zero, we want to know when the height of this object is equal to 132.04. So we set our function here equal to 132.04, exactly the same as we did previously. The only difference is our equation, our quadratic equation right here is not set equal to zero. We first need to subtract 132.04 from both sides. When I subtract 132.04 from both sides, I finally get a zero here, which I need for the quadratic formula. And the only coefficient that gets affected is this C value right here. When I take 186 and I subtract 132.04, what I get is 53.96. What I'm going to do now is now that I've set equal to zero, I'm gonna set this into the quadratic formula as I did a second ago. As before, if I get a negative solution, I won't consider that because I'm not thinking of back in time. I'm only considering positive solutions here. When I calculate this all out, what I got are two answers, one of negative 0.475 and 7.1. As stated a second ago, I'll ignore the negative value of time and just use that uh, the time when this object reaches 132.04 feet is 7.1 seconds after it was launched. Before we finish, I just wanted to recap this with the graphical representation of this relationship between time and height. 
First of all, this point right here, this y-intercept, is 0, 186. That's represented by the constant here, c. That is the height where this object started when it was launched or thrown. We also found that at 6 seconds, we found that this object has a height of 246 feet. We found that it hits the ground here at 8.07 seconds, where the height is 0. We also found that between 6 seconds and when this object hit the ground, this object had a height of 132 feet, 0 0.04, after 7.1 seconds.